Hello, fifth graders. The topic of this video lesson is called Finding My Media Balance. Today we're going to watch a video exploring the things that we can do to make sure we use technology in a way that feels balanced and healthy. What do you think of when you see these images? This one over here. And this one over here. What do they show? These pictures show balance, which is when all of the parts are in the correct, though not necessarily equal proportions. For example, for a scale to be balanced, it needs to have equal weights on both sides. Or for life to feel balanced, it might mean spending time doing different things, time with friends, time with family, time for work, time for hobbies, etc., but maybe not all in the same amount. Today we're going to talk about balance in terms of how we use media. This includes how we use devices like phones or laptops or television, and also things that are non-digital like books or magazines. Media that term includes all of the ways that large groups of people get and share information. Let's take a look at a quick video. Every day, we make choices about what we do. We choose what we eat. We choose what to wear. And we make choices about the media we use. And these choices affect how we feel. Some media choices make us feel happy, curious, or excited. Other media choices help us feel loved. But others could make us scared, or stressed out, or even angry. So, what is media balance? It's about making healthy media choices thinking about what you choose, when you use it, and how much of it you consume. Then thinking about how these choices make you feel, because making healthy media choices is different for everyone. And remembering that sometimes the best media choice might be no media at all. So, what does media balance look like for you? So according to the video, what is media balance? Our definition here of media balance is using media in a way that feels healthy and in balance with other life activities, including family, friends, school, hobbies, etc.